Taiwanese girl or American girl? <laughs> um. Well, <laughs> 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 I think that one's funny because I'm American and I wonder why you say it. Okay, what's up guys? As you guys see the title, yeah. Danny is about to live. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, today I prepared a couple questions for you. Let's start it. Sure, bro. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 大家好，我叫 Danny。啊，我从美国来，我住在台湾一年多，可是现在我我现在要回去美国。But is that right? Because I don't want to go. I'm sad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's your job? A uh, bushiban teacher. Taiwanese food or American food? Taiwanese food. Fast food or rice chow? Oh, rice chow for sure. <laughs> <laughs> rice or noodles? Rice. Name three Taiwanese food in Chinese. Tang you bing. Lu rou fan, niu rou mian. What is your favorite fruit? Mango. City or countryside? Ah, oh, definitely countryside. <laughs> Name your three favorite scenery in Taiwan. <laughs> Yushan, Qilai, um, and maybe Taiga. What's your favorite city in Taiwan? Uh, Hualien. A mountain or ocean? <laughs> in Taiwan, mountains for sure. Taiwanese girl or American girl? Um, don't care. What's your favorite Chinese song? I don't know. I don't know the names. I love listening to the classic Taiwanese songs. I don't know any of the names. Can you sing it? No. <laughs> What's an idiom you like? <laughs> Oh, there's three good ones. I don't know which one. Should I say all three? Yeah, sure. Okay. Go for it. Uh, <laughs> uh, that one's really funny. Uh, also, Okay. I think that one's interesting because it's like, why do you say I don't have American time? I want to know. I want to know people. You can tell me because does he, do you guys think we're lazy? Is that why you say that? Or or what? I don't understand. <laughs> okay, leave, leave the comment if you know this one. Okay. Yeah, I'm really curious. I'm, I'm actually just curious. And, um... 男人不坏, 女人不爱. <laughs> That's a good one. 你最喜欢台湾的什么? 最喜欢台湾的菜. 很便宜,很好吃,很方便. 那你回美国之后，你会最想什么？我会想台湾的山，我会想Jimmy，我会想我的台湾朋友，还有我的学生。I will miss everything. All right, so the second topic. We already finished the first topic about quick, uh, quick question. So the second one is is a deeper conversation. Mm, okay. Are you are you ready? I think I'm ready. Okay. This is your first time living in another country so long. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So how do you feel? I don't think it would be like this in every country, but living in Taiwan for this long was pretty easy. I mean, it's it's so convenient. There's a lot of English. People are friendly. It wasn't really a big adjustment. It wasn't it wasn't hard to, to live in Taiwan. You know, just traveling somewhere for one month, you don't really get to see the culture. You just get to see the touristy things. Yeah. So living somewhere, you really get to know the people. You get to meet a lot of different people, and you get to really know like the Taiwanese people, the Taiwanese culture. And explore like different places and, and, and different cuisine. Yeah, I'm really happy with like 
I really got to experience like pretty deeply like what what Taiwan is like and there's still so much more to, to, to learn and, and to know about even though I've been here for a year and, and a half yeah it's so, true yeah. yeah just one month or one week is not enough you don't really get to know a place you just get to know the touristy side yeah so that's like been really fulfilling for me oh. I really like getting to know the local experience yeah another thing is you learn the Chinese so it's really easy for you like to close the culture I guess so yeah I mean in terms of food <laughs> it's a lot easier for me to get food I don't know Chinese I can speak a little bit and I can order food and sometimes people want to talk to me and practice my Chinese and I can really talk with yeah like, really local people like really like the Lao Bon, I can have little conversations even though I can't really get to know them on a personal level I can still chat with them and, and kind of know what their sense of humor is like and and we can still have like some connection I'm really happy with that at least I can do that in Chinese so all that studying has paid off even though I was kind of lazy studying. <laughs> <laughs> and we've been so many cities, so many towns. When we finish the hike, we just move another town to find some cuisine, to find some food, local yeah. restaurant. So what do you think about their food culture in Taiwan? <laughs> okay, people tell me if you go to the night market, don't get it from the stand that looks all new and nice and clean. My favorite Song Yo Bing. It's like a like food street, not really a night market. Yeah. And it's like the ugliest looking place ever. They just have like cardboard signs. It just looks like really trashy. But man, if if, if they don't make the best tongue yobing in, in Taiwan. So a lot of places are like that. Like the old restaurants, like it doesn't look nice at all, but they give you like the most delicious food. It's super cheap. So I think that's something really special about Taiwan. The local cheap food is the best food you can get. You don't necessarily get better food for paying more, I it, think. Yeah, it's true. Like every time we just pick a random restaurant. Yeah. Yeah, they never let you down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good vibe. It's a good vibe. In America, they really care about the restaurant looking nice and looking clean. But in Taiwan, it's just like just a room. There's like a TV on the wall and then yeah. everyone's just talking and, and, and drinking Taiwan beer. Yeah, I like I like the atmosphere. It's really fun whenever I go to like a Re Chao or Chao Chi Dian. Oh, yeah. yeah. Re Chao is an authentic way you yeah. experience. Yeah, of course. Before you become a teacher, right? Mm. So you are the traveler. What's a comparison live in Taiwan and mm. traveling Taiwan? Yeah, it's, it's definitely a different experience. It's nice to have tons of time to travel. You can travel Monday through Friday when there aren't so many people. But teaching is cool too. I mean, I get to know the, the, the local kids. I get to have Taiwanese coworkers. I focus on traveling more in my area. I only have two days, Saturday and Sunday, to have a trip. I have to kind of stay closer to Taipei. But there's so much to do, that's why Taiwan is special, like there's so much to explore. I can get to the mountains or the beach and spend my weekend there. What, what's the thing you like Taiwan most? I think you can guess the nature, the, the mountains, okay. the trails, the scenery. But also I guess the Taiwanese people, I have to say that too, the Taiwanese people have been so good to me. They're so friendly. I have so many friends here that I have, I, I have been so kind. Okay, so what's the thing you don't like? In Taiwan. I don't like in Taiwan. Yeah. I'm not used to living in a big city. I live yeah. in the suburbs in America where there's just tons of space. So I'm not used to people coming so close to me and even, you know, bumping into me. Yeah. And, and that's kind of stressful for me. And it's not necessarily bad, it's just a different culture. I think especially in Asia, the big cities can be really closed in and there's yeah. really small alleyway. That is was very stressful for me, just walking down the street. It was like, I never felt like I could relax. Now, lots of people definitely want to know, okay. why do you want to live Taiwan? Ah, oh, okay. I'm leaving Taiwan because, yeah, I've been planning on leaving in June since I started my job one year ago. So my one year teaching contract finished. I've always been planning on leaving and going back home. We're having a big family reunion. We're 25 people. So I, I really want to go home and, and see my family. Yeah, I can live in Taiwan longer. I'm, I'm not bored of Taiwan at all, but I think it's time for me to go home and, and see my family and, and start my life in America again. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, I'm not leaving because of the coronavirus. I'm still happy in Taiwan. So, do you have any bucket list you haven't done yet? Yeah, Shui Shan, Taba Jian Shan, Ali Shan, yeah. Sun Moon Lake, some hot springs. So, yeah, I have to come back to Taiwan. <laughs> I have to come back. And check off those bucket list items. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's true. There are so many places you can't explore in Taiwan. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. like in Taiwan, since I know I'm not gonna be here forever. Yeah. Uh, every weekend, I wanna take my opportunity to explore and to go on adventures, and it's really fun. So in America, I, there's the common thing like you don't explore your hometown where you live. So. Maybe I have explored more in Taiwan than some Taiwanese people, and a lot of people who visit America have explored more of America than me, right? It's really funny. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah it is funny. Like I just want to take advantage, even if I'm at home where I'm normally at. There's still places you can explore. Yeah. You know, you haven't been everywhere, so I just want to take advantage of like every weekend, just like go on little adventures where I can. So, yeah. Yeah, that's been awesome doing that in Taiwan. So. Yeah, I want to take that back home with me. No more like you say you stayed at home, but in Taiwan yeah. you travel every weekend. Yeah, yeah. I know, like eventually it's gonna end, right? So you want to take advantage of it. But you know, the someday, like when you're at home, you'll move and you won't be there, or you'll die. So eventually <laughs> it's gonna end. So you just yeah. have to think about that. Just like take advantage of all the time you have. That's you know, you're not at work. You can you can do fun stuff. So. Yeah, that's inspiring. I guess. Yeah. Nice. I don't, I don't mean to be inspirational. <laughs> If someone wants to come to Taiwan, what would you choose to to them? Um. Yeah. I mean, it depends on what kind of person they are. But Taiwan mountains. I would like to show them the East Coast, how the um, indigenous tribes are so prevalent in that area on yeah. the East Coast. That's really cool to see. Maybe I feel like Tainan. You have to go to Tainan and try the food. Taroko depends how much time they have, you know. Just give me the like one minute presentation to introduce <laughs> Taiwan. Yeah, it's hard to do, and it's hard to do in one minute. Taiwan's a place like I feel like it takes time to discover a little bit. Like you say, hidden gem, a lots of treasure you can like explore. Yeah, like the yeah. more you get to know it, the better it kind of gets. It's not like immediately you see, oh wow, it's like so amazing. But like as you learn more about Taiwan and like get deeper into the culture and explore more like places, it becomes like more and more beautiful. Yeah, I think it's becoming more popular. People are are starting to hear more about Taiwan, so that's really awesome. Um, it's good for Taiwan. If there's too many tourists, that can be annoying. So I'm happy actually that it's like a little. Undiscovered, but for Taiwan, it's good to get uh, more money from the tourists. Yeah, I think I think it'll become more popular in the future. I think more people will know about it. That's what I think, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see in a few years. So, what's your plan after you're going back? And I'm gonna drive from the east coast to the west coast of the United States, which is pretty far. Yeah. And I'm gonna do some hiking along the way and and work on some farms, like doing little work exchanges. And then after that, I'm gonna have to get a job again. So we'll see. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Yeah, hopefully something works out, and maybe I'll just come back to Taiwan. Yeah. If it doesn't work out, <laughs> why not? For round two. <laughs> I really hope you have a great chapter in America and all your future for sure. Yeah, I'm really grateful for Danny being here a year and a half. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like my partner and yeah, also my true. best friend. Yeah, man. Yeah, you've been my best friend, bro. Thank you. You helped me out so much. I don't know if I can survive in Taiwan without <laughs> Jimmy. I survive in this cave. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's really helped me out. So thank you. Thank you, bro. Yeah, you're welcome, <laughs> man. Guys. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Okay. Bye. Me. What time? Uh. Will come back. Oh, I. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I don't know.
什么时候？我等等等。我想说，谢谢台湾。开始了，我很怕说中文。起来，上午，上午有很好吃的东西。对呀，对呀。Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys for being really, really awesome fans and being so friendly. I don't think there's that many haters. <laughs> Normally, there's lots of haters, but you guys are you guys are awesome. So thank you for being so friendly. <laughs> okay, bro. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>